about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking, we'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see, the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited for Hi guys, welcome back to my channel so today, I have got an exciting video planned. I am going to be making over my bedroom. So I am so sorry about the echo at the minute. If you watched my last video, you would have seen that I lifted my carpet up. And today, I am going to be painting the floor. I'm going to be painting this wall. I'm going to be putting my room back together and just making it look amazing. I have ordered a new rug, which won't be here for another couple of weeks, but as soon as that comes, I will show you, but that probably won't be part of this video because I want to put this video up before that arrives. My house is a mess. Like, I've got stuff everywhere just with taking everything out of my bedroom. I have got Maleficent on the TV, and I am just, I've just been cleaning the floor up this morning, ready to paint it. So, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put some wood filler around the edge just so that the floor where it meets the skirting board looks a little bit seamless. Then after I've done that, I will start painting all the floor. So I am going to be painting it white, just like my hallway. So if you can see here, I'm going to have, have that run through with my bed and then a big, gorgeous rug. So I'm going to do the corking now um, and then I will start the painting. Guys, so now I have caught all the way around all the edges. It looks so much better. Uh, there's just no gap sort of under the skirting. So now what I'm going to do is get the floor painted. So I'm just going to paint the main part of the floor at the minute. I'm not going to do the edges just so I can let the cork dry a little bit. Sorry, not cork. I keep saying cork, it's wood filler. Let the wood filler dry a little bit, uh, which will then just make it better. Um, I couldn't get another floorboard at the minute because if you have a look, this is not an actual floorboard, this one bit here. A lot of that is going to be covered by the rug, but I am still going to try it and get a floorboard. But at the minute, I'm just going to paint over it and just see what it looks like. Um, so I'll keep you posted on that. But the paint that I'm going to be using is this Dulux um, eggshell and it is a quick dry paint because it's on the floor quick dry is much better because then I'm not I don't need to not be in here for as long and that is the same paint that I used out in the hallway so let's go and start painting you ain't got enough of this fever I know I know nothing would remain and you don't wanna go so go no time to waste I wanna love you but life doesn't wait You can't stay here and waste away You need to taste every mistake Fall out and get up again and again Again and again and again and again I'll be with you always You don't need to be afraid And I'll meet you up, I'll meet you at the I'll be with you always You don't need to be afraid. So the first coat is all done um, this wood here is seeping through. I don't know what's happening. So what I'm going to do with this is throw an oil base paint over the top of this, and then I'll go over it again with a water base just to try and seal all this in, uh, and we'll see how that works. If not, I'm going to have to go out and just go on a mad hunt to try and find the floorboard sooner rather than later. Uh, so yes, that's the next steps. And then, yeah, I'm just going to go over it, give it all another coat. There's a little something coming through there as well, so I'll put a little bit of oil base over the top of that. I'm going to do all the corners, and then, yeah, we should be good to go. So I've given the floor another coat, and it looks amazing. I love it. I'm just very mindful that little bits of it might still be wet. So. What I'm going to try and do now is start painting this wall white so that I can get my bed back in because I'm mindful. If I don't get my bed back in, I don't know when I'm going to sleep. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm going to give this a couple of coats 
quite quickly, hopefully. Um, and then, yeah, it's all coming together. But I love the floor. I can't wait to get the bed in, the rug down, and then all my furniture and stuff back in. So, yeah. Um, I'll probably have to like do some touch-ups and stuff. Just It's not fully dry, so it looks a little patchy. So it may need another coat in the end, but that's cool. later on now and I have been painting all day so this is the current situation so this is all going to need another coat I'm going to let that dry overnight tonight and I will throw another coat on it tomorrow it I, it just feels so much brighter in here already even though it's obviously still patchy and stuff but I love how bright it is uh, so yes I am made up uh, I'm going to I'm going to have to put my bed up tonight because I need somewhere to sleep. I need to have a shower and then I'm going to get in bed, just have a nice night and then I will go up tomorrow and then I'm going to get this all finished, get the last paint, last coat paint on the wall, some touch-ups on the floor and yeah, and then get the furniture sorted because I want to do some upcycling on the furniture. So I will see you guys so it's the next day and uh, the bed and everything's up. I need to give this all another coat and then I think that wall will be done. And I, I'm feeling a little bit off at the minute because I've painted these bedside tables. I don't think I like them, so I think I'm going to have to paint them again. I just don't know, do you think I go black with a brass handle? I've got some black paint in, so I don't know whether to try that. But I don't know if that's because I want my bed in all white. Um, and I don't want it to feel too monochrome -y. I don't know I'm so stuck I don't know what do we think, what do you think I should do um, or do I get rid of the lamps completely and maybe bring in different lamps I definitely don't like the bedside tables like this anyway so either they'll be painted solid white or solid black but I might try the black first to see what vibe I get with it and take it from there so yeah I just don't know so I've decided that I'm going to paint these black. I just feel that the grey or the white doesn't tie in. So I'm going to be using this paint here. It's actually a blackboard paint and it's from Johnson's. It is such a good paint. I've used it before. So I'm going to throw this on here and we'll see how these turn out. And then if I need to change, I will do. But I'm quite confident that the black will look nice. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down until you save me, until you set me free. My eyes were closed. Now I see. So this is what they've turned out like in the black, and I think I love them. It ties it all in together. I love it so much. Um, ignore the state of everything. I'm put pulling it all back together, but I just I think black might be the winner. Uh, and then I need to sort the bed and find a new bed and stuff But I'm going to do that and just maybe wait until I find the right one But this finish on this is absolutely incredible So it's still, it's not fully dried I've just put it all back together just to see what I, if I wanted to keep it black or not But I think, I think black is the winner guys I love it, I love it Let me know what you think uh, But for me, I think black with that little brass handle, the little brass knob, just looks incredible. I love it. 
So the next thing in my bedroom is this piece of furniture. This isn't really my style anymore, so I think I'm going to do something similar to what um, I have done with my bedside tables. I'm going to paint it in the black chalk paint and then I'm going to uh, look at uh, I'm going to have paint over the mirror part as well and then I don't know if that's going to sit right. If it doesn't, I will put some panelling round and then just fill the middle part in with MDF and router the little drawers out so I'll be able to do that easy enough. Um, but I think I'll just try and paint it first, see what that turns out like. And then, yeah, I'll play it by ear. But I love the bedside tables so uh, and ignore all my cushions. I still need to sort all that out. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Guys, so here it is! What do we think? It's all done. I am obsessed with it. It has turned out so much better than I was expecting. I love the floor. I love the rustic vibes of it. I didn't want to cover it like too much and have it perfect. I wanted it to look a little bit rough. Uh, that's the vibe that I'm going for. So very beach housey. I love it. And then, so just over here, I have painted the bedside tables that I showed you. I think they look amazing. Uh, and then they've just got the little brass knobs and then I've got my gorgeous RV Astley lamps on top of it and then the bed uh, the bed actually doesn't look as bad as what I thought it was gonna I still definitely want a new one at some point but it doesn't make me feel like I need to rush into something uh, so yes I am loving it uh, but I've just got it still with this little throw this was a bargain at £10 I paid for that throw that was from B&M and then down here I've just got this little tray that I got from Amazon, I'll link that below. Some pampas grass, I just painted some books and then tied uh, some uh, like rope round it, uh, which looks amazing. And then I've just got a little Joe Malone candle on there. And then I've got these cushions, these are from a company that are no longer uh, trading, they were on Instagram, but they're not on there anymore so I won't be able to... Um, I won't be able to give you the exact company, but I will link some other companies that do very similar ones if you are interested. And then over here I have my William Woods mirror, which I am obsessed with. I love, love, love it. And then my other bedside table, my uh, little coaster, because I always bring a glass of water to bed. And then uh, my just a little basket, and then I've got like, my iPad and stuff down there. So yeah, and then what I've done is over here, I've just put a little print on the floor again. I love the rustic vibe, so I just wanted it to feel, you know, quite loft housey, beach housey. So yeah, I've just threw that down there. It is a gorgeous print, and that just says, create your story. And that was from Decennial, if you are interested. And then just over here, I've just got some coffee table books. I need to style this up a little bit better. So I've got some coffee table books there. I've got the Joanna Gaines one here. I've got the White Company one here. This one's the Alexander McQueen and Vanity Fair. And then I painted this unit. However, um, I did put a wax over the top of it and you can see bits of the wax. So I am going to have to like rub all that down to get it back to being matte black. But I'll do that once I let it set. Um, and then I just sprayed the handles in like a brass spray paint but this does look a little bit of messy at the minute but it will look beautiful once it's all done and then I've just got my TV up on the so wall. that is my bedroom guys I love it I am so happy with it I literally spent about £80 doing this room up which is incredible such a bargain because I used a lot of stuff that I already had so I would really encourage you if you're wanting to do a room up on a budget 
Think about what you've got in your house. You've probably got lots of stuff that you could upcycle. These bedside tables, I've just painted them. This unit, I just painted it and then added some knobs to it. Um, I'll link the paint that I used as well. It's a gorgeous black chalk paint. Um, so yes, uh, I am absolutely over the moon. And then I spent a little bit of money on the paint for the floor. I already had some white paint in for the back wall. Uh, and then I just I already had all this stuff and I bought this throw. And that's it pretty much done so i hope you liked it guys if you did please give it a massive thumbs up if you're not already subscribed please subscribe i'd love to have you as part of my youtube family and i'll be doing a lot more videos like this so um i will see you in my next video love you bye Mwah. about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away